So taking a look at the second part of that question, um, again we're dealing with owned houses and access to the internet. So is the household of a privately owned house privately owned house more likely to have access to the internet than a household that's rented? Okay, so support it with significant statements. So privately owned house more likely to have the internet than a rented house. So we're trying to look at this table and decide, okay, are these people more likely to have internet than these people? Maybe that's a way to good to, good way to look at it. So let's write out our totals here. This is zero point six zero two. So I'm saying out of the point three nine eight people, twenty six or point two six have it there and out of the 0.6 people, 0.4 have it there, so which one is more likely to happen? So you can kind of do this using intuition if you want to think about it that way, just saying out of this group that own their house, what's the likelihood they have internet, and out of this group that they rent, what's the likelihood they have internet? But that's also just going to be a conditional probability statement as well. Or a given statement, if you remember what those are as well. So the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. So what we're trying to compare here is the probability of having the internet given that you own a house. How does it compare to the probability of having internet given that you rent a house? So right now we're asking to see, are, is this more likely? So is that one bigger? We're checking it out to see if it's true. So the probability, again, using this formula on this side, the probability that you own your house, well, we saw from the table above, the probability that they own their house is 0 0.398. So 0 0.398, oops, 98. That's the probability that they own the house. Now, out of that group of people, the probability that they have internet, we saw was point zero zero point two six one, and that I'll write it below. That's going to be equal to zero point six five five eight. And again, we're checking. We don't know to see how it compares to this side. So the probability that somebody rents, that's the point six. Zero two, and that they have internet if they rent, or they have access to the internet, that's the point four zero four. That is actually equal to zero point six seven one one. So when we were trying to make the comparison, they were asking, is this side, the fact that you own a house, making you more likely to have internet, is that bigger than the fact that you'd rent and have internet? And it's not true. So not true, because 0.6558 is much, well not much smaller, but it is smaller than 0.67. Not a huge difference, that's like 65.5% and this is 67% but it is the statement that one is more likely, that this one owning and having the internet makes you more likely is not true. So not true that owned houses are more likely to have internet compared to rented, rented houses. So that's the trick in that question, is just understanding how to how you would prove it statistically. And again, you can think of it as a good conditional probability where you're going to use the given statement, the probability and over the probability out of. But if you've got a little bit of intuition, you can also go back up to the table and think, okay, I'm trying to compare out of this whole group here how many have access to the internet. So that's my total and that's my part fraction I want to write. How does that compare to this probability over here, my total of the 0 0.602 available to me and that part that I'm looking for is the 0 0.404. So using conditional probability or a little bit of logic there, you'd write out the same fractions and find that, yeah, um, one of them's 
the one they're comparing and thinking is going to be more likely is actually not bigger. So it is, again, not true.